Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to create EFI for macOS Monterey. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to the channel, and stay connected for latest updates. So guys, let's start. For creating the EFI, you'll need, Hack and Tool, OC Gen X, Open Core Configurator, and latest release of Open Core Package. To determine the basic info, open Hack and Tool. Go to PCIe tab. And here look for your Ethernet and Wi-Fi controller. Here you can see, my Ethernet controller is I225LM, for which we'll need to use fake PCI ID. And we'll also need to use fake ID, in device properties. Wi-Fi controller is BCM43602, which is natively supported, so, we don't need any text. Audio controller is Realtek, here, codec isn't available, as mine is USB audio. If you have USB audio, you need not to use any text, but if not, then you will need to use Apple ALC text. Here, all the USB controller will be listed, if you will have any unsupported USB controller, you'll need to use additional texts, along with USB inject all, and also keep in mind that, USB mapping is mandatory for Mac OS Monterey, for mapping your USB, follow the guide for my button. After having some basic info, close hack and tool, and open OC Gen X. Select your system type, depending on your processor codename. After the selection of system type, go to Kex tab. In Kex tab, make sure that both Kexts are selected, as it's mandatory. Now go to SMC tab. Here, all the Kexts listed are for hardware sensing, for temperature, and fan speed info. Super I.O. and SMC processor is necessary. Light and battery Kext are only for laptop. Light sensor is for ambient light and battery manager for proper functioning of battery in laptops. Moving to the graphics tab. Whatever green is mandatory, and AGPM will be used only for AMD systems. Moving to the audio tab, select Apple ALC, and use ALC boot args, in accordance with codec. If you have USB audio, then Kext is not needed. Next to that, select Ethernet Kext, depending on Ethernet controller. After selecting right Ethernet Kext, go to USB tab, and select USB inject all, however, USB mapping is mandatory, although USB inject all isn't required for AMD systems. After that, go to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth tab. If you are using any card which works out of the box, then it's not needed, but you'll need the texts, when paired with partially supported card, however it will only work for Broadcom chips. Moving to the Extras tab, MCE Report Disabler is here. This Kex disables Apple Intel MCE Reporter, to prevent panics on startup, however it's not required for AMD PC. Now moving to the Firmware Drivers tab, make sure to select both the drivers, without open runtime, you'll not able to boot, and without HFS Plus, no HFS partition will appear, including macOS installer in Open Core Boot Picker. After that, here comes choosing right SM BIOS. Choose the system model which is closest to your CPU model. iMac Pro 11 will be used for all AMD systems. Lastly add some args, like dash V, for verbose mode. And after that, click on generate EFI, and EFI will be generated to your desktop. And now, you'll need to use some, SSDTs, Copy SSDTs, to a CPI folder, both SSDTs listed below are mandatory SSDTs, for proper functioning of power management, and USB power. List will be added for each SSDTs, after that, make sure to add SSDTs to open core, and make sure that it's enabled. And you're done. So, that was it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, for more update, stay connected and have a great day.